In this lesson, we will focus our attention on T accounts. One of the most important tools that accountants use when registering a transaction. As one can imagine, a T account takes the shape of the letter T. On the top side of the letter T is the account title. For example, inventory, accounts payable, revenue, and so on. Contained on the left and right sides of the letter T will be the information about the account's increases and decreases. T accounts are helpful for a number of reasons, but mostly for the fact that they allow us to visualize transactions in an easier way. When we draw up a line below the registered entries in a T account, we are able to calculate the difference between the account's increases and decreases, which represents the current balance of the account. We can think of the balance sheet of a given company as one big T account. On the top of the letter T, we will have the title balance sheet. On the left side will be positioned the company's assets, while on the right side will contain its liabilities and equity. Contained inside this large T account will be smaller T accounts. They will be on the left, the asset side, and on the right, where we have liabilities and equity. Each of these accounts represents a separate general ledger, such as cash, accounts receivable, PP&E on the asset, and trade payables, financial liabilities, and common stock on the liabilities and equity side. One of the most common accounting terms that you will probably have already heard is debits and credit. These two words are used to describe the two sides of a T account. Debit stands for the left side, while credit stands for the right side. Try to remember that. If you start thinking about the meaning of these words in the common world, you can get confused. Think of debit as the left side of a T account and credit as the right side. It is simple as that. Assets increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. Therefore, if we want to show that the firm has bought new assets, we will write it on the left side of the T account. Given that liabilities are the opposite of assets, when we increase a liability, we have to write on the credit side. If a liability is decreased, it will be written on the debit side. The same goes for equity. Increases are on the right side and decreases on the left. Think of it in the following way and it will be very easy for you to remember. Assets are on the left side, right? When an asset increases, we write such an increase on the left side of the T account. This is where debits are. Liabilities and equity are on the right side, right? Quite intuitively. When a liability increases, its increase is on the right side of the T account. Credits. This is the best way to think of it. And then, when we have a decrease, we can write it on the other part of the T account. The right side for assets and the left side for liabilities and equity. I know it can be a little confusing, but you only need to remember two things. Debits are on the left and credits are on the right. This is the first thing. Don't think of debits and credits in any other way. The second thing to remember is that assets stand on the left side and their increase is registered on the left side of a T account, while liabilities and equity are on the right side of a balance sheet and increase to the right. Makes sense, doesn't it? Given that in the last two lessons we saw several new concepts such as general ledger, T accounts, debits and credit, I suggest that you rewind the videos if you feel there are some concepts you're uncertain about. Alternatively, you can write us a message. Thank you for watching.